Hello, and welcome back to another episode of I Need to Shave My Face. I want you to go down in the comments right now and let me know if I should keep this Hulk Hogan handlebar or if we should chop that off and turn it more into a push broom. See you after the drop. All right, here we are, Game Club Coalition. We're talking about potentially PlayStation Plus's best month ever, along with a few uh, backwards compatible games getting updates to take advantage of the PlayStation hardware. Yeah. So let me get this into focus here. Okay, so February's PlayStation Plus uh, games. If there wasn't enough reason to only pay $60 a year for this, which I'm actually going to leave a link down below to uh, CD keys, I believe that I've used a ton of times. I think it's on sale for 30 bucks right now for a year. It's like always on sale over there, man. Totally worth it. So first up, we have a PlayStation 5 exclusive originally launched title and now pushed out Destruction All Stars. Uh, I'm going to throw up some background uh, footage that they've shown of the actual gameplay recently, which had me very intrigued for this game. This is exactly what I've been talking about since we've mentioned the game. It's like I needed to see a whole session set, set up and they showed it. Awesome. Yeah, I, it's I, really fun. I'm very excited. <laughs> it's it's going to be super interesting. I've kind of been looking into it a little bit more. Um, it looks like there's several different game modes. I'm pretty sure that there were some people already playing depending on their time zone that it was on the PlayStation Store and oh. some other countries earlier today. Um, and you're probably watching this February 2nd or after which this is out definitely worth it if you don't have a playstation 5 yet go into the app or online uh, claim this game uh, this is the exact way that fall guys launched as being a playstation plus game uh right at launch and it really kind of helped propel that game i think and there's a lot of potential 100%. here yeah uh it does look super super fun though um, it looks like it's just tying together some of that Twisted Metal PlayStation exclusive stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's just kind of growing that into a sports type situation. Yeah, it's it's like a very thing. unique uh, blend of genres, so to speak. Yeah, it, it definitely after seeing the gameplay footage, it did remind me of when we were like Rocket League, Twisted Metal and Fall Guys. Yeah. Like it's like it's kind of what it is. Yep. Kind of, after yep. seeing it. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Good weather forecast there, I guess. Yep. Uh, and then so next up, we're also getting Control Ultimate Edition. I know there was a lot of controversy around this, uh, but this <laughs> is going to be a PS4, PS5 game. So PlayStation is getting or sorry, PlayStation 5 is getting two games this month uh, that are going to have updates. This is actually going to be a new uh, version. Remedy said that it's running in their new engine. Um, we're going to have two different modes, which Digital Foundry had a breakdown today of the visuals. Also leave that link in the description. Um, looks pretty amazing to me I played this on PC in 2019 when it came out and even on the settings that they have it at to run it either the 60 frames per second performance mode which is runs in 1440p or the uh, ray tracing mode which has ray tracing reflections and shadows and maybe something else um, at 30 frames per second uh, is at least stabilized versus what the PlayStation 4 version was at a much higher fidelity as well yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> PlayStation 4 ran kind of uh, not great. Yeah, and that was the one interesting thing to see from this Digital Foundry breakdown is that the ray tracing mode uh, actually stays really consistent regardless of the amount of particles and effects that get on screen. Nice. And it doesn't really dip from uh, some of their initial testing. Now, the guy that I watched uh, the video today, he was still on a pre-release version. I think there was a different guy on their team that was getting a day one patch version and going to be doing some testing and analysis comparisons between PlayStation and Xbox series. Uh, nice. So it'll be really interesting to see, but this is a fantastic game. Uh, I think the movement and everything else of the game really requires that 60 FPS. Um, I'm looking forward to playing it in that mode. They personally. did say that it was on the fly to be able to switch in between the two, which is super cool. Oh, that's cool. That's exactly how the PC version works. You can just click it on and off. But this is going to be great in some scenes where just like walking by windows or different things to like pop on and be like, hey, what's it look like here? Right. Mm -hmm. Like what's ray tracing look like here? What is that? Uh, you know, and then benefit get a combat, advantage. crazy combat scenario. It's like, wow, drop it to 60. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you'll kind of be able to like play that back and forth. But I loved this game. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Remedy games. This includes all the DLC, 
uh, which has, I believe, some continuation of Alan Wake and a few other tie-ins. Um, I actually haven't played that. I just played the base game back when it launched. Uh, so this is going to be a great opportunity for anybody to get in. However, I am a little bummed that this was offered on sale twice in the last month for twenty dollars. Yeah, that that because I, I already bought it. Sorry, my PlayStation's making noises. I had to turn it off. No, That's you're my bad. Okay. Um, yeah, I bought it. Right. In <laughs> in in preparation, especially because um, when the Ultimate Edition launched which I believe it launched right alongside the Steam version uh, because it was previously an Epic Games exclusive. Um, Remedy and or 505 Games, I'm not exactly sure who, came out and said that the Ultimate Edition would be the only one getting the upgrade to the next generation system. So if you I think had, it was 505 because I feel like everybody was just like, Rah! Yeah, like, right. super like, mad about it. And so there was a big controversy between, you know, people that owned the base game from day one with all the DLCs not being able to get an upgrade to the Ultimate Edition. Then there was a whole thing with the save files not being able to transfer from the original version to the Ultimate Edition because it was running a different engine or something. And now we're yeah. running into the exact same thing where if you started on the Ultimate Edition on PlayStation 4, that save file does not transfer to the Ultimate Edition on PlayStation 5, <laughs> yeah. which is really unfortunate. However, yeah. for anybody that has not started playing this game, I really think it's worth uh, a play, especially being free, pick it up. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, go to that CD keys, uh, and pick it up $30 for a year. This month alone is worth $30. Yeah, that's seriously 100%. And uh, on top of that, the PlayStation Plus collection with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and there's some good news coming that way too, but we're, you know. <laughs> yeah. So we've just got long we've just got one more um, game that's coming out this month, Concrete Genie. Uh, this is a first party in-house Sony PlayStation Studios game. Uh, I've actually looked at it and almost purchased it a couple of times. I think the art and uh, visuals look fantastic from screenshots. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it really does look really, really cool. I know that uh, it's kind of being covered up in our uh, the picture here that I have, but um, <laughs> definitely go check that out. It does on the PlayStation 5. Uh, it's locked at 30 frames per second, but I believe it does play in 1440p. Um, I really am kind of hoping for a little bit of a next gen upgrade if they would come back and do that that would be swell but I'm not yeah. you know holding them to it um, I'm still probably going to try it out just because I was so interested before and, and it's VR capable right uh, it has VR mode I think it does yeah so that was like kind of this this month is kind of the trifecta right we're getting two PS5 games two PS4 games a PSVR game yeah it's a it's a nice little bundle man <laughs> it's real I'm like it's the first time in a minute where there was a PlayStation Plus um, release, like where it was like, "Oh, I can't wait for tomorrow to download these games." Like, I got Man Eater, but I already own Man Eater, so that was kind of like not one for me. But right, and I feel like it was, it was a game that was, uh, you know, play a couple hours, see it, it's cool, all right, move on. Same thing, sort of with Bug Snacks and some of the other PlayStation Five games, but. This really is an outstanding month, especially coming on the heels of Xbox's whole hike on Xbox Live Gold yeah. price and everything I feel like else. Sony was like, pull the trigger. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just like, right. drop the box. Just let it go. It's 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 the month of Valentine's Day. Sony's showing us all some love, you know? Right. It's like, hey, you just got that PS5? We love you. Right. Here's some stuff. And uh, actually, following up on the heels of this, we also want to talk about a couple of backwards compatible uh, yeah. upgrades. For the PlayStation 5, the first one, which is the big one for me and a lot of other PlayStation owners, uh, is that God of War is getting an official backwards compatible update to where it's yes. going to play 4K checkerboard resolution and 60 FPS. This is a free update for everybody, um, but it's only so going to work for the PlayStation 5 owners. But I I'm super happy about this. Same. I, I just redownloaded it tonight. So <laughs> I just... That game's phenomenal. Uh, we've talked about it on our top tens or top fives or something like that lists. But um, man, what a, and that just that, that that just came today. That that announcement just it got was like, that hey, news. Tomorrow, tomorrow it's coming out. February second, gonna be a big day, man, for a yeah, lot of dude. games. Uh, and <laughs> what's so great what about this? First? It was unfortunate because in uh, up until now. You could actually, if you had the disc version of God of War and popped it into a PlayStation 5 and deleted all the patches or whatever came with it and played it offline, you could actually run it at this 4K 30. They ended up having a patch that 
or sorry, 4K 60. 4K 60. Oh, I didn't 4K know that. 60, yeah. Mm -hmm. Off the disc only, no patches. However, the performance was so kind of all over the place, they decided to cap it to 30 uh, on an original patch early on. So this is very welcome to see, especially for the owners of the digital systems, myself included. Um, <laughs> that you're gonna be able to run this at the higher resolution and the higher frame rate. We saw the same thing with Ghost of Tsushima and um, what was the other one? Um, Infamous Second Sun and First Light, right? Oh, we saw, I didn't play that We yet. saw those on same PS5. kind of where you can, on PlayStation 5, run the high resolution and the high frame rate. And I really think as much as, you know, companies are gonna be pushing this, uh, you know, higher fidelity narrative for a while, but I, I'm really convinced that this is now the time of 60 frames per second. You know, the, the higher frame rate, I know it's not super high like a lot of PC players, but to have that 60 pretty consistent. I mean, in every game that I've played, I've pretty much opted for the performance mode on the PlayStation 100%. 5. Um, control, I'm going to hate to miss out on the ray tracing because that was one of the things I loved about it originally. However, I want to play it at 60 FPS. And this mm -hmm. is a very welcome... Uh, to see all these backwards compatible updates and on top of all of that playstation plus gets included in the uh ps5 collection or whatever it's called the, uh, the ps plus collection dude yeah like so you if you don't have playstation plus and you go to cd keys link in the description we're not even sponsored 30, we just love them and I, we, we buy just, that stuff we do that and it's like 36 dollars or whatever it is 30 bucks and you get all these games god of war included uh you also don't you get is bloodborne part of it isn't bloodborne part of it bloodborne is part of it and infamous, you don't have that infamous second son is also part of it not first light although that's on sale right now for seven bucks so easy and scoop monster up hunter there, right Great game, monster hunter world anyway that, that i don't want to detract but <laughs> such a good deal yeah absolutely so awesome, <laughs> super stoked i've actually i had started when the playstation 5 came out um i had done a new game plus i'm actually interested because i'm only missing one trophy in the mm -hmm. game I'm actually interested in maybe like deleting my save file or starting a new save file and just starting over with God of War and kind of giving it the full experience again, um, yeah, rather than the new game plus, game. because new cool. game plus you're sort of overpowered, which uh, sort of makes it, you know, or you've got all your armor and everything unlocked. So there's nothing to like get yeah. and, and help you progress. Um, you so, have all of your combos and stuff and you're just like ripping people apart. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah <sick. laughs> absolutely. Um, so, and then the last thing I want to touch on or that we want to hit off is uh, Division 2, also tomorrow, 4K60 update for the PlayStation 5. It's got loot. It's I got loot, baby. <laughs> and again, here we are seeing these backwards compatible games being updated. Another example was Jedi Fallen Order just under a month ago. No warning. Hey, guys, we put out a patch. It got a war. Hey, we're putting out a patch tomorrow. This Division thing we've kind of known about for a little bit. Um, but it's also coming with a um, Resident Evil uh, 25th anniversary kind of tie-in thing. There's a login, and you can get an RPD outfit, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to be uh, definitely playing this game and giving it a go. But to see all these games for, for people that did get the PlayStation 5, I know there are a lot of people that, that still don't have it. But for those that got it and those that will eventually get it, you're able to play all these, what I'm gonna say, current gen or last gen games at a higher fidelity and frame rate that actually makes them feel next gen. Yeah, like uh, again, um, even Control, back to that real quick about um, that was, we didn't know when that update for next gen was coming out Correct. until PlayStation Plus. And that was just a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. So like, there's just a lot of just like, bop, 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 bop. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more heavy hitters soon. Yep. Uh, coming and um, still waiting for that Bloodborne patch. So <laughs> I know, I know, I <laughs> just, know. What are you doing? But it is Come it on. is very nice to see in this like next generation as few games that are designed specifically for next gen um, to to see them get the update and backwards compatibility mode yeah. and, and even uh, control using uh, the actual PlayStation Five version now. Which in one of Digital Foundry's tests, they did a load time difference between PC. With, um, I don't know if it was a oh, Gen nice. 4 drive, but it was a three and a half gig, like pretty close to, you know, what Sony's can do or whatever. And even just like the initial load screen, where on the PlayStation 5 it was like 10 seconds, and on this PC it was like 11 seconds, which is not a huge difference, but it is there and they're using that next gen technology. And then also with nice. deaths, 
it was like an it was like 17 seconds versus eight seconds or something like that i don't know the exact numbers but it was like eight n- seconds for the ps5 yeah or, it was faster oh, okay. for the ps5 so in both instances like- the playstation actually was faster than this high-end pc that had an nvme i think it was oh. gen 2 I, I just remember him saying three and a half gig but either way right. It's all peanuts at this point, um, yeah. but to see to see this get taken advantage of for what are considered last gen games, and and really this is kind of a testament to control and how um, uh, difficult and or demanding it is to run, right? Like yeah. it is an intensive game. I mean, I've got an RTX twenty seventy, and I barely was able to play that game with medium ray tracing settings at like seven twenty p or something like that Dang. upscale. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like it is just a hunger game. So. I know a lot of people are going to downplay that they couldn't do a 1080p 60 mode with um, ray tracing on, myself included. But I, yeah. I do know that that challenge <laughs> I was say, I think that, that was you. <laughs> that challenge might be a little bit difficult at the end of the day. The more that I've thought about it, and I fired up uh, my computer on the TV trying to do some tests, and even using Nvidia's DLSS, which is far more advanced than any checkerboarding or anything else that they've got going on, my system was That's still impressive. struggling to push a native 1080p. DLSS up to 4K, like it was struggling to hit at 60 on low settings. So, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, when I played Control on PS4 Pro, obviously, yeah, it had its frame rate issues. But looking at the game, it's one of those games you could tell was like, this looks really good, and the hardware can't do it. Yeah, it's like, and it, it didn't look bad by any means, but there's just like weird, like, look to it where it's just like. Yeah, this is a this is a scalable game. Yeah, almost so like really nice. Crisis or any of these other like heavy hitters yeah. that's difficult to play. Like we really won't see. I, I mean, I think some high end stuff right now could play Control well, but like to see to see it running at like native 4K with ray tracing turned on, we might not even have the graphics card to to hit 60 FPS with that. But right. <laughs> that's a another story for another yeah. day. But um, so, anyways, I just want to say thanks again for uh, joining us. We're gonna get off here. Uh, you guys should go ahead and check out all the great stuff that PlayStation Plus has to uh, offer and check out all these new uh, updates coming out. Uh, until next time, Game Club out.